untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena Games video. Today we're going to take a look at the No Band List Historic Format, which got recently introduced as a temporary all-access event, which means we get to play with every card in the game without needing to own those cards. And that's perfect for this event because there are quite a few banned cards that you don't really want to craft because you don't get to play with them anywhere else and we wouldn't want to waste those precious wild cards. And this way everyone gets to be on an equal footing Here's a brief overview of all the cards that are currently banned in Historic that we'll get to play with, and this list includes some of Magic's most iconic and powerful cards. We've got Swords to Plowshares as one of the best removal spells ever printed, Dark Ritual and Channel can lead to some degenerate starts, we've got the Demonic Tutor to enable all these different combo decks, we've got Counterspell as Magic's classic 2-mana blue instant, Got a natural order, maybe sacrifice a mana elf to put a crater hoof behemoth into play, and then Oko as one of the best planeswalkers ever made, and we also get to play with a Ragavan to maybe enable a powerful red aggro strategy, which is also supported by a lightning bolt, and then the list goes on with Field of the Dead as a powerful ramp payoff, Mishra's Bauble as a cheap cantrip that can also enable Delirium, Brainstorm will get significantly better once we get fetch lands on Arena, we've got a lightning bolt as we mentioned, Veil of Summer is also going to be important in this format, stopping opposing discard spells and counter spells. We've got Memory Lapse as another 2 mana counter, Thassa's Oracle as a win condition for having an empty a library, We've got Tibble's Trickery enabling some degenerate starts after countering your own spell with it, We've got Once Upon a Time to smooth out our draws, can be cast for free, We've got Uro to help us ramp, Wilderness Reclamation to double our mana potentially, We've got Winota which is also now legal alongside Agent of Treachery to steal the opponent's stuff, got Omnath to make extra mana, and finally Time Warp and a Nexus of Fate to take extra turns. So all these cards are now legal in this no band list format, and I want to kick things off with a black-green channel Eldrazi deck, which features 16 total cards that are typically banned, with Veil of Summer, Demonic Tutor, Once Upon a Time, and Channel. And Channel is a real centerpiece of this deck, allows us to exchange a life total for colorless mana, essentially. That way we can cast a turn to Kozilek, the Great Distortion, Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, or even Amrakul, the Promised End, which will assuredly help us win the game. So that's our goal, we want to channel and cast a big Eldrazi to take over. Kozilek can counter opposing spells once it enters, after drawing a few cards. We've got Ulamog exiling at two permanents when it's cast, so it can even exile opposing lanes with it. And finally Amrakul, the Promised End, can steal the opponent's turn and then potentially mess things up from there, and can also close out the game in two attacks. So that's our goal, to help protect this combo we've got access to 12 discard spells at 1 mana, we've got Duress, Inquisition of Kozilek and Thoughtseize, can also prevent the opponent from doing degenerate things, and then a Veil of Summer can block opposing discard spells or counter spells, so we can maybe wait until we have 3 mana to go for channel with Veil of Summer backup. And then to find channel, we of course have four copies of a Demonic Tutor, which can be very useful as well. And then once upon a time can smooth out our draws. We've got a relatively low land count, so can find a land if needed, but can also find some of our Eldrazi if we want those instead. I also tried this list with more one mana accelerants, like the various mana elves, but since the goal is to cast a channel, we don't really need mana elves, since they won't be of any use to us afterwards. And then a mana base needs access to a lot of black green dual lands, so we can cast our turn one discard, but still have double green on turn 2 for a channel, so that's why we see Overgrown Tomb, Alanor Waste, and Blooming Marsh. Pathway, of course, if we play it on black, won't set up double green on turn 2, but that's still okay. And then a couple of forests and Boseju. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. No channel, no demonic tutor, so that's a mulligan. This is better. Don't have any interaction, but at least we have double channel in case one of them fails. We can try again. Emmer cool, so no real need to once upon a time right now, unless I guess find a overgrown tomb that I can play tapped. Yeah, I guess we can once upon a time. And then Blooming Marsh will do. The next turn channel, if it gets countered, we can try again. Or wait until we find a discard spell. But it seems worth the shots. Okay, so that resolved, and then now opponent could still counter our Eldrazi. Uh, 10 life for Kozilek, 
a love and life for Emrakul. I think Emrakul might still be the pick here. And that resolved. All right, take the opponent's turn. And we see Gauntlet, Divine Purge, Dissipate. So they had a three mana counter. Wrath of God, that can clear Emrakul. So that's um, not ideal. So I could play a land just to waste a Divine Purge, but I don't want to hit their land drop for them. So, yeah, just going to pass a turn here. And then we may need to channel another Eldrazi here. Also don't have any 4-drops in the deck to potentially counter Wrath with Kozilek for what it's worth. So hit for 13. And then Boseju to blow up a land or a lantern is unlikely to work since they probably have a couple basics they can find. So we'll just play Tapped Overgrown Tomb. And then if Emrakul goes to the graveyard, it will cost 10 mana for the next one. So we can channel and then essentially pay 8 life down to 1 and still cast it. So that could work. So yeah, I think this is our opportunity to channel and then cast another Emrakul, left at one life. Take the opponent's next turn. And they've got a Farewell, which they won't be able to cast. So what if we just uh, channel Soaring City on their own Chromatic Lantern? That seems good. So, channel Chromatic Lantern and pass a turn. So, no way they can cast a Wrath of God since they don't have an untapped land for it. So they seem dead on board. Emrakul can trample over Strict Proctor and that does it. Sweet, so need a double channel this game to win. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw and this is a Mulligan. No channel or demonic tutor. This one is missing an Eldrazi, but we can maybe find it with Once Upon a Time. So, yeah, let's ditch one Inquisition. Opponent on potentially a red aggro deck or burn deck found channel, so that saves us kind of the uh, demonic tutor for channel. And uh, let's Once Upon a Time see if we can find an Eldrazi. We can. And Inquisition to maybe take away a burn spell. Never mind, opponents a combo deck and looks like a Tibble's Trickery slash Throws of Chaos uh, deck, so... Emrakul maybe doesn't significantly disrupt the opponent's game plan. But we'll see. Could go for Kozilek, but I don't have any 4-drops to counter Throws. I guess I do have 2-drops to counter Tibble's Trickery, since the opponent's plan is to cascade into Trickery and then that way... Uh, they get to try and cheat something expensive into play. But what if we just Emrakul, take the opponent's turn? What do we get to do here? Sacrifice three lands named Scrapyard, doesn't do anything. Can make them discard the throws, but they can just retrace it. I think I'm better off going for Kozilek. And then we can just counter Tibble's Trickery. Okay. And with 10 life, I don't want to cast another Eldrassi because I would be dead. So it's the opponent's turn. Get to attack for 12. And then I don't necessarily need to cast once upon a time since it's a 2 drop to counter with Kozilek. So we'll pass. And then we'll see if the opponent goes for Throws of Chaos. Scrapyard gets another Scrapyard, discarding Ulamog. But I believe as long as we can counter the Tibble's Trickery, we should be alright. So... There's Trickery. And then now use Kozilek. 
x equals 2, counter trickery. And that should be game. Alright, GG's. Sack for 12. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Missing channel or demonic tutor. Once again. Alright, we're going pretty low, but now we've got a keepable hand. So I get to return three cards, which means if I let go of Once Upon a Time and my two discard spells, I would still have turn to channel Emrakul, but we're pretty soft to any interaction. I think uh, that's still probably the pick. Could also kind of take a gamble and uh, keep a discard spell hoping to draw second land. Does our opponent have the discard? Nope, Mishra's Bauble. Also a card you can now play. Okay, so let's channel Emrakul and see what's up. And then hope that our opponent's got their own channel in hand. If they do, awesome, and they've got the green source to cast it. So now we can just cast channel and pay their remaining life to win the game. Sweet, awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems fine. Demonic Tutor finds Channel, and in the meantime we've got Inquisition and Veil of Summer. So turn one Inquisition. See a hand of Ragavan and a bunch of burn spells, or opponents on Monorad Aggro, which can uh, line up quite favorably against our Channel strategy. So, do we take Swift Spear? Do we take Ragavan? Probably Ragavan, which also enables Shrapnel Blast to deal 5 damage. But we will still face a turn 1 Swift Spear. Can potentially counter some of the 1 and 2 mana spells with Kozilek, although I imagine Ulamog is still going to be the better play. Okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna lose another one from Lanor Wastes to get Channel. And then next turn, it's gonna cost me quite a bit of life. Alright, so I have to go for it, but uh, not sure if this is gonna be good enough. Ulamog exiling. Two lands leaves me kind of at a stalemate, where if I attack with Ulamog, our opponent can attack us back. If I go for Kozilek, there's no three drops to counter Skewer the Critics, so we might just be dead here. So maybe my best chance is still going for the two lands. And then hope our opponent can't cast anything in the foreseeable future. And we can eventually build up our mana to potentially cast another Eldrazi. Okay, we're at two. Once upon a time can find a land. And then I guess I attack for ten. That way if our opponent wants to attack us, they would be dead on the crankback. And I'm probably dead to most one mana burn spells anyways. I'm a little bit surprised that they decided to attack last turn. Found a land. And let's see, are we dead? No, we are not. Our opponent explodes. Alright, so they must not have had a land nor a one mana burn spell. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. No channel or demonic shooter. That's a mulligan. It is nice that we have both Kozilek and its Inquisition in this deck, I will say. Okay, we've got Demonic Tutor to find Channel, no Eldrazi, but uh, got a couple turns to find it. And then in the meantime, Duress and Veil of Summer to hopefully make sure we don't die. So I'll keep. And Overgrown Tomb can go. Alright, let's have a look with Duress. 
And our opponent's also a channel deck, but channel banefire. So the classic kind of channel fireball combo. Take channel. So we better find an Eldrazi soon. Another duress. Yeah, let's just demonic tutor for channel. And then we can demonic tutor for an Eldrazi afterwards, but more likely to draw one naturally. Opponent did not top deck channel. Yeah, let's tutor for an Eldrazi and then I can still duress. And I don't think it matters too much what we take. Losing one life could also be relevant here. And then what's the best Eldrazi to get? Probably Ulamog to go after the green sources. I could potentially win the game with Emrakul if they top deck channel for the turn, because I could just make them pay 20 life. But that seems a little optimistic. Okay, so channel for Ulamog, and I can use Lanor Waste, so I only pay 8 life here. And then we gotta prioritize taking out probably the Gilded Goose, and then a green source. That way if they top deck channel they cannot cast it. And then two attacks can close it out. And our opponent concedes. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. And our hand is missing an Eldrassi, but we do have Demonic Tutor. The only problem is if I play Pathway on black, I'm not going to have double green for channel. But if we find another land, we should be okay. So I'll keep. I want to probably cast a turn one Inquisition anyways. And our opponent's got Negates. And they look to be a Mystic's Mastery combo deck. So we can maybe grab that with Thoughtseize. For now, Charter Course. And discarding Bladewing the Risen. So our opponent's a Dragon combo deck. Likely with a Dragon Storm. Okay, so I can Demonic Tutor here. And grab an Eldrazi. And then hope to draw a green source. If not, I can still... Cast another Demonic Tutor for a land and cast a discard spell. And then I'm thinking Ulamog exiling two lands is going to be best. So our opponent can cast a Prismari Command, picked up Veil of Summer, which is interesting. I think I should still tutor for land. And then Blooming Marsh will do. And cast a Thought Seize. So that can hopefully take away their only Mystic's Mastery. Even though there's nothing in Graveyard that's super scary right now. So take Mastery, opponent can cast Prismari Command end of turn. Draw a discard and look to put something like Dragonstorm in the Graveyard to then cast with Mystic's Mastery. And with a Bladewing already in Graveyard, they don't need a very high storm count to win the game. Just get another Bladewing and Terror of the Peaks and that can set up an infinite loop. So we could still be dead here. At least no Dragon Storm in Graveyard. There was an argument for getting uh, Emrakul over Ulamog to potentially mess up some of the spells in their hand. But yeah, now we can check if the coast is clear with Inquisition, cast Channel with Veil of Summer backup. Opponent is going to attempt to counter, we're going to say no. And opponent actually has a Mystic's Mastery in hand. But with channel Ulamog, they shouldn't be able to cast it here. Although I guess it could still draw a land, but it's not like Mastery has any great targets. And Ulamog prompts a concession. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got channel Ulamog and Thoughtseize for Disruption, so it looks good. Caster once upon a time first, looking for maybe an Emrakul since we don't need more lanes. And we found a cozy lack instead. So we'll have a look with Thoughtseize. And our opponent's playing a blue rat, kind of a channeler, maybe Delver deck. And a counterspell is probably what we need to take here, even though our opponent won't be able to counterspell channel. So maybe at that point I'm more afraid of a lightning bolt to finish me off after I take a bunch of damage off channel.
think Ulamog might still be the pick over Kozilek. Exile Channeler and a land. And then good luck to our opponent. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got Discard Spell, Channel Ulamog, so sign me up. Let's have a look with Inquisition. And our opponent's on the Band's Control deck. And uh, yeah, I don't think it really matters too much what I take. Let's go with Growth Spiral. Ulamog's gonna go after the opponent's lands. Could also wait another turn to get an extra land with Ulamog, which is somewhat reasonable. If I play Ulamog now, opponent's gonna be playing a land, taking 10, playing a land, taking 10, so they should still die before they can cast the ferry. I guess I have to select my own land as well here, which is a little awkward, but that's alright. Now it looks like our opponent has seen enough. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and we've got a channel into Kozilek on turn 2, so sign me up. And then a Veil of Summer to stop any opposing discard. If we suspect counter spells, we'll just wait until turn 3 to go for it. So I like my chances. Pass it back. And let's see what he points up to. Just a tapped Triome. Okay, so the coast is clear for Channel Kozilek. And then Kozilek can counter any Tibal's trickeries that the opponent might have. And that's enough for a concession. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is not perfect. We're missing an extra land. Don't have any discard. And if our opponent leads with a discard spell, they can take away channel, but then I guess we would still have Demonic Tutor to find another. I think it's worth a shot. On the draw, we're also more likely to pick up a second land. Once upon a time would also be a fine draw early. Alright, and then do I shock myself to keep up Veil of Summer? I don't think there's a need to. Small chance our opponent's like a Grixis deck and fires off a discard spell now. But also want to preserve my life total when we channel. So... For one mana, our opponent could have a Spell Pierce, perhaps, to counter channel. So maybe I Demonic Tutor for a land, so next turn I can channel with Veil of Summer backup. Sure. Might be overthinking it here, but that's fine. Blooming Marsh will do. Alright, and then now let's channel. And I'm thinking Ulamog. And then I don't want to tap my Lenor Waste, so we'll just pay 10 life here. And there we go. Thanks all the opponent's blue sources. And that's enough for a concession. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Got channel Ulamog on two with turn one Duress or Veil of Summer. Opponent does have Inquisition, but we've got a redundant channel, so taking one doesn't really stop the combo. So now I might want to just keep up Veil of Summer instead of casting a Duress in case our opponent still has multiple discard spells in hand. And if they have a Thought Seize, they could just take Ulamog now instead of another channel, which we just topdecked. I guess our opponent could have their own channel, but say, led with turn one Swamp, so they don't have double green for channel on turn two. It's gonna be Incubation Druid instead. That's acceptable. And then now we can channel Ulamog. Get rid of Incubation Druid and the green source. And that's enough for a concession. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. No channel or tutor. Once again, take a mulligan. And still no channel or tutor effects. Alright, this we can keep. So, let's say we keep Emrakul over Kozilek. One Inquisition. I guess I still need to get rid of one more. So is it a land or is it an Eldrazi? We're more likely to draw land naturally. Could also just ditch the Inquisition. Hope our opponent doesn't have anything powerful. But uh, I 
think I've got a better shot with the Inquisition in hand. And then we just need to draw land to assemble the combo on turn 3. Opponent's got a Lightning Bolt, alright. So our life total will be under pressure. Cleansing Wildfire can go. Could have actually been effective since we don't have basic Swamp in the deck. Because it doesn't cast Channel. But now we'll grab Channel and then next turn we should be good to go. Okay, so channel Emrakul, I think, over Kozilek. And yeah, that's enough for a concession. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and we're missing channel or demonic tutor, so we'll mulligan. This is better. And don't need three lanes, do we? So one of these can go. We'll need to shock myself to have both black and green on turn one for Thoughtseize into channel. Up against a Field of the Dead ramp deck. And our opponent's packing Oko and the Fairies. So they came to play, but uh, channel into, I want to say, Ulamog exiling two lands is probably going to be good enough. And then, which is the most annoying card, not that they're likely to cast any of them, but we'll grab Oko. Opponent plays a tap land, so there's no risk of a counter spell. And channel Ulamog, exile two lanes. Seems like the best play here. Alright, so we get to see our channel Eldrazi deck in action. And the format is still brand new, so people are still trying to figure out what the format is all about. But I think this channel Eldrazi deck is probably kind of tier zero territory. So this is the deck to beat. It can be beaten by some aggressive burn strategies, perhaps, since we're paying 10 plus life to cast our Eldrazi. So that strategy could potentially line up favorably. So we'll have to see how the meta game develops from here. But be sure to let me know in the comments which cards you would like to see me build around next. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.